Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Saturday the 27th of August 2022. Thanks for joining me. I want to use two decks of cards today. The Radiant Rider Waite Tarot, which I used yesterday, and then the Robin Wood Tarot. So let's see what the cards have to say here. I'm going to choose two cards from each deck. The date, again, is significant to me. We've got the 27th, so 2 and 7 is 9. That's spirituality and completion. So understanding something. Then it's August 8th, so power. And then 2022 is about relationships and building something meaningful. So today is an opportunity to understand something about your own power, what you can create, and also what it is you want to build, what's important to you. On this day, we also have a um, new moon in Virgo, and it's really an interesting one that reveals a lot about ourselves and the world. So if you want to have a look at that video, I've just filmed it. Check that out. It'll be uploaded by the time this one is. So with this, we've got two cards in reverse. We've got the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. I do use reversals in this deck. Okay. And then with this deck, let's see. We've got the Emperor and the Two of Pentacles. Interesting. So it's almost like... These two cards are saying this is what you no longer need to bother with. And this is where you can get to. So the page of pentacles, when he's upright, this is an apprentice who's on the first day of his new job. He's no clue what he's doing. He's super eager to learn and willing. Maybe his dad got him the job, but he doesn't really know. And he doesn't really necessarily um, have what it takes. But the willingness and the earnestness and the desire to achieve and to perform and to make something of himself, that's super, super strong. So with this being in reverse, the pentacle is still there. You're very focused on the practical, physical world, but it may be the opposite now. So rather than feeling a sense of um, optimism and enthusiasm for some undefined future and a desire to learn skills and to work very hard, you may now feel that you've been working so hard and for so long in an expert way that you feel oppressed by it. it you feel like, oh my goodness, like my life has shrunk so that it, it's only work or it's only the way I appear to other people or it's where I live and the things that are going on in my 3D physical life on planet Earth. So it may be oppressive and a sense that I want something to change so that I have a sense of being lighter and freer and almost like young again. Or, you know, it's I, I want to regain that sense of being carefree. And I, I want to feel like I can transcend my circumstances. And even though they may be challenging and difficult, I can walk that tight rope, handle what needs to, have time and space to be the person I want to be, to dream and to travel and to do things that are enjoyable and not to feel like I'm a, I'm a cog in a wheel or like a slave in to the machine, you know? So with this card, I get that you may feel a little bit run down, tired, a little bit fed up, like things have got a bit dry. It's like, I need a break. It's all getting too serious and I just want to have a laugh. Next, we've got the Four of Swords and the Four of Swords is about contemplation and recharging your batteries and restoring yourself before some big battle. So we've got the knight, he's gone to the church, he's meditating, he's praying, and he's asking the angels for help here. He's saying, okay, I'm going to get into this battle. This is what I have to do. It's what I've committed to doing. I don't feel very good about it. I might get injured or even die. I might have to do things which I'm not thrilled with. Please guide me and help me along this path in order to ensure that it goes okay. This is something I feel I have to do. So it's the calm before the storm, it's fear, it's the anticipation of negativity. This being in reverse, the cards are saying, I don't want to contemplate and rest before doing something. I don't want to even deal with anything that's so heavy right now. Similar to this card, I want my life to be lighter. I want to use my thinking and my mind and my ideas to see what I can engage with in a positive, fun way. I don't just want to prepare myself for the worst or, or rev myself up to deal with some sort of a problem. I don't want to ask for outside help. I want this to be about me. I'm not interested in trying to decipher some sort of 
cryptic message from some higher self which is unrevealed and always seems to be pulling the strings but never reveals itself you know the frustration of that i just want to be self-actualized and self-directed here and i certainly do not want to take time out and to prepare and to rest and to understand i want to do i want to do things my way i want to lighten the load so the emperor fourth card in the major arcana this is someone who's an authority figure. If you're looking at the fool's journey, he represents the fool first coming into contact with his own father. So this person who seems so accomplished and powerful and seems to know what they're doing. So here we've got a very elaborate king. We've got an emperor who's got this royal purple. Purple in the tarot has to do with spirituality and, and the higher self. So this is a king who isn't just power hungry, who's on the throne because he wanted to be. He feels like there's a spiritual meaning. You know, like in, wasn't it in France, they said that they called them the sun kings or something because they were, they were um, ordained to be the king by God. Anointed, anointed. So this is someone who feels anointed. He's doing, a, he's living his higher purpose. Red passion, brown, the ability to deal with negativity in some way, or this white. So even though he looks very lavish, this is someone who is the purest type of leader that there can be, someone who operates from a level of, I lead for the greater good in order for this kingdom to survive. If there's danger, I blow my horn to alert the others. I'm trying to do something that's not just for my good, but for everyone's good. This sense of eternal life that's given to me by my higher self, freedom, success, celebration, so the emperor is very responsible. He does what he wants, but it has a huge impact on the lives of other people. So on this day, what I'm getting here is, yes, you may feel a little bit run down, tired. You want to get rid of some of the obligations and duties and just have fun. And what I'm getting from this is the cards are saying, let your, let your hair down a little bit and give yourself a break. Because with the emperor, it's very, very unlikely that you're going to go overboard and you're going to do things which are negative in terms of your own circumstances or that will take you to a place of excess or issue. I think the thing to focus on in this entire card is this bird in the back, which is just floating along the breeze. And that's the message I'm getting. Enjoy the freedom that you can have on this day. Finally, the two of pentacles. This is where you can attain. You can actually manage your circumstances without too much effort. So don't, that sense of oppression isn't exactly necessary. You can do and think and be free and exist up here in the clouds. So the physical and the intellectual is okay. The only thing then to govern or to look at is to allow yourself to dream and to feel free again. And like you can Look at what's coming up in future. Oh, you know what I'm just noticing is this big blue, uh, this big disc here in the sky. It's a full moon. The full moon in the tower is often associated with fear. And it's actually about listening to your intuition and trusting and having faith. So this kid here is walking a tightrope, genuinely dangerous, but he is handling everything. And what's that saying? It's, it's, it's a song by um, in Faithless, Insomnia. If the sun gives way to doubt, it will go out or something really silly like that. But same thing. This guy, he can handle everything eternally, even though it may be risky. As long as he has faith and trust in himself and his own dreams. And he realizes that nothing is permanent in life, that everything's a negotiation. And to accept that. He and you will be able to continue. If you start to doubt yourself or give way to feelings of despair or oh, I can't or, you know, like throwing in the towel here, that's when you run into issues. And that's totally unnecessary on this day. Okay, so number wise, we've got the page that counts as one. One and four is five. Another four is nine. And two is 11. 11 is the master number of service. And that's come up a lot lately. So... You can be of service to yourself by giving yourself a little bit of a break simply and allowing yourself to pursue things you enjoy. Allow yourself to dream about the future. Um, and that is work 
it's work. It's not something frivolous or pointless. It's, it's something that ought to be done on this day. It will give you fabulous ideas for your practical life in future. So taking a bit of time to dream and to act and to do things that you enjoy is actually the most productive thing that you can do on this day. So I hope you have a fabulous time. Oh, the only thing, full moon is when the sun and the moon are 180 degrees away from each other. The moon reaches its completion point and it showers you with energy. A new moon, it's pulling energy in. So with this, I feel, even though the cards are depicting it as a full moon, it's it, my association is obviously with what's happening astrologically on this day, which is a new moon. So I feel that this pentacles energy is being pulled in. So particularly ideas about your practical circumstances and where you're going in future, that's what you'll receive as a gift. So have a great day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to audio your reading with me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.